What is going on, guys? It's your boy Chris here. It's time for a Come to Jesus meeting for AEW and its fan base. Mostly the fan base, because y'all are living in some kind of dream world. I'm going to say a number, and it's going to say all that needs to be said. 672,000. Do you know what that number is? That is last night's rating for Dynamite. 672,000. For the go-home show, leading into a pay-per-view. 672,000. I'm going to say it again. 672,000 viewers. You can say all the excuses you want. Oh, it was the NBA playoffs are going on. Oh, baseball's happening. Oh, there's like the Westminster Dog Show. Or I, what happened is my air conditioner broke. Or whatever the fuck excuse you want to make. Okay? Whatever excuse you've got, it doesn't cut it. And it's old and it's tired. Because last year, there was the NBA playoffs. There was the NHL playoffs. There was baseball. The same exact time last year. And the ratings were not this fucking bad. Okay? They weren't this bad. So you have to stop and ask yourself, what the fuck is happening with the AEW? Okay? What is causing this? And it boils down to two simple things. Shitty booking and backing the wrong people. Straight and simple. That's what it is. They've never booked well, but they've really been exposed for their booking of late. All it's been Dream match after dream match. And now that we've seen all these dream matches, what do you have left? Not a goddamn thing. Okay? So that's out. And then you have backing the wrong people. You already know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. When they had the choice to back CM Punk or the Elite, Specifically the Young Bucks. They back the wrong horses. And I'm not lumping Kenny Omega in there. Because Kenny Omega, from all accounts, from the man himself. He squashed it with Punk. And they made peace. And that's from Kenny himself. Like, they're cool. At least in his mind, they hashed it out and they're at peace. So it boils down to the other factors in that situation, and that's Nick and Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks. Uh, it boils down to their crew, their crew of people, like Jack Perry and all these other people, who work to get CM Punk the fuck out of AEW. Once Cody was gone. And he's another factor. Cody being gone. Cody was the only EVP that took his fucking job seriously. And that's known from people inside AW and people who covered it. The only one that actually did the EVP work was him. It was Cody. Once he was gone, everything started going to shit. And once Punk was gone, it really soured people. Because people saw the bullshit that happened. Like... Should he have attacked or pushed uh, Jack Perry? Maybe not. Was he right to confront about the shit he said? You're goddamn right he was. I would have confronted his ass. And anyone I know would have been like, yo, what the fuck is your problem, dude? They would have confronted him. And would have had no problem doing so. He might have got his ass whooped worse. Straight up. 
So, I mean, you... It, it, are, are y'all ready to accept the fact that AEW has a problem? Are you all prepared to do it, AEW fans? Because the problem's looking you right in the face. And if you refuse to see it at this point, I, I don't know what to tell you. But you're, deni you're in denial. You're in denial if you don't see that AEW has a problem. Also note that um, Turner, Warner Brothers Discovery did their upfronts for all their shows and everything that's coming up. And they did not mention AEW. And their negotiating window just fucking closed. So there's been no one else sort of a new TV deal. None. And we were expecting that months ago. Apparently, there may have been some short-term deal through the end of, end of December, but that doesn't mean that they're going to get a deal with Warner Brothers Discovery. They could end up on Destination America. They could end up on, like, whatever channel. They could end up on Tubi or some shit. Who knows? But if they don't end up staying on Warner Brothers, they're fucked. Because Warner had the money. And you could say, oh, well, Tony and Shad have all this money. Okay, let's see what they do when they're running off a of fucking Tubi. Or Freebie. They ain't gonna have that money running then. So, you know, that's all I've got for this. It's gonna be short. I've had a bunch of other stuff going on about that. To everybody who's reached out in any way, shape, or form about my dad. Um, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, he's he's doing better now. He's awake. He's relatively back to normal. They're just holding him till while they're observing him and stuff for a couple days, and hopefully he'll be going home tomorrow. If with everything holds up the way it's looking, he may go home tomorrow. I don't know. I'm hopeful that he does, but we shall see. I've been to see him every day. Um, today, like yesterday, he actually said, you know, don't come tomorrow. Because you can see it's taking a toll on you. You're kind of burning candles at both ends. Take a day and just don't come down. I'm okay. So that's why I'm here doing this right now. Because otherwise, I'd be at the hospital with him. Um, like I have been since Monday. Um, so again, I appreciate everybody who reached out, who sent messages, who anything called, whatever, you know, any way you reached out or said anything, I, I value and I appreciate you. Thank you all for that. You have no idea what it meant to me what it means to me um it, it was hard seeing my dad like that um he was like strapped down his hands were strapped down because he was trying to pull out all the IVs and stuff and um just for perspective this is how I, I kind of got a hint of what my parents went through with me when I went through some health stuff when I was born and when I had my baseball accident because I had tubes running all through my body and they had my hands strapped down because I tried to pull out all the cords and stuff they had in. So I now know what my parents went through to a degree and it, it it's not fun seeing somebody like that. I wouldn't wish that shit on somebody I hate. Like for real. Like I, I don't. I'd never want to see that again with either of my parents. Um, it, it was hard. Um, but things went turned for the better and he is awake and everything's as good as it's going to be for the moment. And like I said, he may be coming home tomorrow. We shall see. I will keep people posted through either Facebook or I'll do a video here. I'll, Probably through Facebook because that's where I've been throwing all my stuff. But, um, or I'll post it here, or I'll video here, update. And I'm going to put this video up like in, in, in the normal places. Um, if you like this content that I put out, 
like and subscribe. Hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications. Share the videos to your friends. Send them out to everybody that you know that likes, like, wants to laugh at somebody eating hot sauce. Or wants to try to talk about some really deep shit. You know, just, you know, share it. I've had people, like, to subscribe because they saw a video somebody posted like, yo, that was some good shit. So, yeah, I appreciate those people too. Like, I appreciate the people that share my videos. Um, Speaking of videos, I was just on with the Bayou Geeks on Saturday. We did a big 40th anniversary of Transformers episode. Um, I was on there with them. So, um, I posted a link um to places i'm gonna post to put the link in the bottom here and the com my comments here to where people can see it um check it out um ha had a good time with fatty maximus dirk um old poor bastard uh mike and willie i think that's everybody that was everybody that was on there uh mike does an amazing star screen and you will see that in that video. I tell, I tell you what. Everybody there, we had a blast. I always have a blast coming up with those guys. Um, always have a good time with those guys. Chop it up with them. Whatever we're doing. Whether it's talk about wrestling or talk about cartoons. Or or something like that. Or an anniversary show. Which <laughs> Check out the two year anniversary. Because that was great too. Went a solid four hours with those guys. Chopping it up. So... With that said, check out that episode. If you've never heard me talking about some other stuff that's kind of outside the realm of what I cover here, check it out. You may have some fun seeing me talk about like old cartoons and shit. Um, so check out their channel. Subscribe to their channel. Hit the like, subscribe on the Bio Geek channel. Give them some love too. Um, uh, my man Jeff. Over at Hammerlock Hangover and the Garden of Doom. Check him out. Spitball Media. John Draper, B Show Brian, and Shaheen. Check them out. Wrestling Soup. Mission Joey. Check them out. The legendary Don Tony and Kevin Castle. Check them out. The Drew Yari Show. Check them out. Lee Sanders. Check out the RCWR Show. Check him out. Solo Monster Sounds Off. Check him out. I think I've got everybody in this one. Uh, Chris Van Verlaes channel. Check him out. He does great interviews with people. He just did one with uh, Teddy Long. And it was very eye-opening. I didn't know a lot of that stuff about Teddy Hart. But it was great hearing him talk. Uh, hearing his stories and stuff like that. Um, like I said. These people inspired me to do what I'm doing here. Um, as always. Shout out to my boys. Rick in Baltimore, Lacanto Keith, Joe Money, Matt, James, Marcus, Lamont, Mario, Yates, rest in peace. I miss you, brother. Benny, <laughs> Rob, my brother Rob, um, Ronald, Kenny, everybody. Like literally, I'm shouting out everybody on this. Adam, Woody. Sam, <laughs> I think I got my whole fucking neighborhood in this video, but I don't care. These people helped me get to where I am today. Now, without them, I wouldn't be doing what I do. I wouldn't have been walked the roads I walked. And it's important to remember the people that helped you get from point A to point B. Um, All of these people have influenced me in some way, shape or form. Um, especially Benny, uh, rest in peace. Uh, -huh. he's the guy that got me in the comics and all that shit. So, uh, it's his, it's, um, it's his fault. <laughs> also shout out the comics explained over on his YouTube channel. Check him out. I I'm going to say this publicly. I thought I knew my shit when it came to comics. I said it to him on Twitter. I will say it here publicly. I tip my hat to your knowledge of shit. 
within the comic realm because there's stuff he knows that I'm just like, I didn't know that shit about these fucking comics. I've been reading this shit for fucking years. Holy shit. So he he's, he is that dude. Uh, Blurred Without Fear, another one. Check him out. His channel out. Good shit. Uh, comic Storian, check him out. Um, I think I'm forgetting somebody. Uh, Comic Multiverse, check them out. Comic Book Cast, Armin and his crew over there, check them out. Um, and that's all I've got for this one. I've got about 15 minutes, pushing on 16. I'm going to get off here just because I'm tired. Like I said, it's been a long week, and I got one more day to go before the weekend gets here. <sighs> so, hopefully things keep going in the, in the right direction with my dad and stuff. Um, AEW fans... Please look in the mirror and admit that there are problems that need to be addressed in that company because these declining numbers are getting worse. And it, if it doesn't get better, they're not going to get a new deal. And y'all need to accept reality. Anyway, that's officially all I've got for this video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace.